Welcome to IDB everyone, it is Andrew here. Now if you have a Retina MacBook or one of the newer MacBook Pros, you can charge it via USB-C. And if you wanted to do that with a battery pack, the best way to do it is using a battery pack that supports USB-C PD or power delivery. It can transfer much more power to your Mac. So we have four, roughly five, different USB-C PD battery packs for you to check out and figure out which one is maybe best for you. The first one up is from Aki. It is a beast, it is a huge battery pack, has two USB-A ports, a micro USB, and of course USB-C. As an added bonus, there's also a built-in flashlight. So if you have this in your gear bag, it's really easy to take advantage of that flashlight to find things. Those additional USB ports make it really handy to charge multiple things at once, like your computer and your phone or tablet at the same time. The capacity is also 30,000 milliamp hours. Next up on the list is the PowerStation XXL from Mophie. This USB-C battery pack that supports USB-C power delivery comes in at just under 20,000 milliamp hours, which does not nearly make it the largest one on the list. In fact, it is one of the lowest capacities that we've seen, but it has enough other good qualities that make it worth consideration. There are two USB ports, a USB-C port and a USB-A port. The USB-A port can be used to charge any number of standard peripherals, and then the USB-C port can be used to charge your Mac, Nintendo Switch, GoPro, or uh, whatever it may be, or you can use that same port to charge the battery itself. One of the most unique features is this fabric that the battery is wrapped in. It actually feels extremely high quality. I love the feel of this fabric, and it definitely elevates it above other ones that we've looked at. Normally, when you plug this into your Mac, it'll try to charge your Mac. It'll go over USB-C and try to charge your Mac up. But if you have the power supply already plugged into your Mac and instead you want to use your Mac to charge the battery, that is also entirely possible. If you plug it in, then hold the button for two seconds, it'll reverse the charge and instead you'll use your Mac to charge your battery instead. This is a super useful feature that we haven't seen from many other USB-C PD battery packs. The next battery pack that we have is the PowerCore Plus 26,800 USB-C PD battery pack, and that is an absolute mouthful. It has a lovely metal casing, which gives it a premium look and feel, and it also comes with a 27 watt power brick. That means you can charge this battery pack a whole lot faster than a standard power brick, and those are usually go for a decent amount of money by themselves. So it's super awesome that that is baked in and included here with the PowerCore Plus. As I mentioned, this does have 26,800 milliamp hours of capacity, which is pretty high up there on our list, a very solid contender. If you like the brand, but maybe need a little bit less capacity, you can definitely take a look at this smaller version of the PowerCore Plus. It has a plastic body instead, and does not come with a battery charger. It also loses one of those USB-A ports, but it still has 20,000 milliamp hours of battery life and comes in much more affordably. Last on our list is the RAV Power battery pack, nicely named the USB-C power bank, and it has 26,800 milliamp hours of battery, similar to the PowerCore Plus. It does have a lot of ports on it, including the USB Type-C and two USB Type-A ports. If you don't have a USB Type-C cord lying around, you can also charge this up, though it might take a little while, using a micro USB cord. It does not have that metal exterior like we saw with the PowerCore Plus, but it does have a scratch resistant exterior, so it should keep itself looking new for longer. All of the battery packs that we looked at are capable of charging your Mac with 30 watts of power. That's not it though, you can also use USB Type-C to charge your iOS devices with a USB Type-C lightning cable, which is of course only available through Apple, but it can charge those a lot quicker as well. All of these hefty battery packs do a great job, and honestly, you can't go wrong with choosing any of them. But which one do I use? Which one do I keep around and use whenever I travel? I have to admit that I've gone mostly with the Mophie. I like the slightly smaller size of it, it's a little bit more compact, and with a MacBook Pro, I already get some pretty st stellar uh, battery life. So if you're ever gonna check out my bag, you're probably gonna find the Mophie PowerStation XXL tucked inside. Of course, it's not for everyone, so I wanna hear which one is your favorite down below in the comments. You can find the links for all of these batteries down in the description. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, 
And until next time, this is Andrew for IDB.